This is the first narrated presentation for Biology 101, Module 4, Energy Transformation. Are you ready to get started? This module focuses on the different classifications of organisms based on their methods of energy production. Autotrophs are producers because they are capable of creating their own food, which means they can store light or chemical energy through photosynthesis or chemosynthesis, respectively. Autotrophs do not need to consume anything but water and carbon dioxide to produce energy. Photoautotrophs use sunlight to store energy in organic molecules, while chemotrophs use chemicals from the environment to store energy in organic molecules. Most plants, such as those seen in this image, are autotrophs, meaning they create their own food. Heterotrophs are known as consumers because they must consume organic chemicals of some type to produce energy. Photoheterotrophs can store light energy, but cannot do so on carbon dioxide alone and must use molecules produced by another living thing. Chemoheterotrophs simply obtain all of their energy from molecules produced by another organism. Humans are chemoheterotrophs because we must eat food to create all of our energy and cannot use the sun as an energy source. This flowchart can be used to determine if a species is an autotroph, heterotroph, or a subtype. This slide reviews the different classifications of organisms based on their methods of energy production. Recall that autotrophs store their own energy using only inorganic mat compounds, whether the energy source is from light energy or chemical energy from inorganic chemicals. Autotrophs are known as producers. Heterotrophs must use organic compounds to store their energy whether the source of energy is sunlight or organic chemicals. Heterotrophs are consumers. 